Earlier in the text, we talked about the seven strategic considerations, rescue, exposures, confinement, extinguishment, overhaul, ventilation, and salvage. But before we get to those, we have to understand that the two basic modes that we're going to operate in. Now, we look at those as offensive and defensive. Offensive operations means that we're probably going to commit resources to the interior of the building. We're going to be working in a dangerous zone to confront the fire at its base and attempt to put it out, extinguish it, or confine it. A defensive measure, we're going to be working probably outside the building, and we're going to be working to contain the fire to the area of origin, or the building of origin in this case. There's a difficult decision to make when you arrive on a fire scene whether or not to commit resources to make entry or whether to stay on the outside. Firefighters are in inherently aggressive. We try to fight fire as much as we can. But we also have to understand that some fights, some battles just can't be won. And it's being able to make the decision or determination which of the two conditions exist is what's most important. So when you arrive on scene, one of the things that help you make this decision is do what's called a survivability profile. Look at the structure and assess it within the couple of first couple of minutes you're on scene, while you're doing your size up, while you're doing your 360, make an assessment of the building and determine whether or not there's any way, any possible way, that it's still tenable inside for a victim. If you get on the scene and you see a fire that is extremely involved, well involved in the building, that all of the rooms are pretty, pretty much involved in fire, it's obvious right off the bat that nobody inside that building is surviving. And your operation is obviously going to be determined to be defensive. You're not going to commit resources to save something that's so well involved. It's going to be knocked down anyway. But when you arrive on scene, the tricky ones are when the building isn't quite converted yet. You have to make a decision as to whether or not you can get in and effectively do a rescue. And then you have to decide whether or not a rescue is in order. Sometimes there are signs during the day that people might be waiting for you outside and tell you that there's nobody inside. Or, or you might arrive on scene and there's no indication that the house is being occupied. So these are things that kind of help you along the way. But you always have it in the back of your mind that one of the priorities you're going to have to do eventually is to search. So we want to make sure that we do that in an environment that's safe. If you have the ability to take the time to make the building as safe as possible, in other words, ventilate it appropriately, to go in and to be able to make an attack at the fire or or possibly knock the fire down before you actually go in. These are all considerations as well. They're very important because sometimes just taking that extra couple of minutes to knock the fire down buys you extra time to be able to do a search. It might give you extra time to be able to get in and be actually inside the building to confine, locate, and uh, extinguish the fire. So these are all considerations. Now in this week's discussion, what I want you to do is I want you to outline the details the things that you would use to make your decision as to whether or not to make an entry and fight the fire in an offensive manner or whether to go in and fight the fire in a defensive manner. Now this is a very difficult situation. I don't really necessarily think there's one correct answer. Everybody has their own decisions as to how they're going to do it. But I want you to look at uh, conducting a survivability profile and the things that you're going to look at to help you determine whether or not somebody could survive in that fire. What are the things in your mind, and explain it in your words, how you would decide whether or not you were going to commit resources to do an interior attack or to stick outside, do a defensive exterior attack. Remember to re submit your initial posting before 11 p.m. on Tuesday night and comment on your fellow students' postings before 11 p.m. on Saturday night. This is also going to be the last week before your research paper is due. Your research paper will be due at the end of next, next module. So I want you to be working on that and getting all of your uh, information together so that if you need to submit a draft for review, uh, you can get it into me so I can check it over and make sure that uh, if there's any corrections, they can be made. Good luck on the assignment and uh, look forward to a good conversation.